Here we are 10 years after the garden was first laid out. And what I'm doing is I'm going through the wood chips that I just put down this spring. They're thick. And you like to do four to six inches. I got all of that here. And what I'm doing is gonna get down into the soil and down in the soil about, uh, I guess about six inches into the soil and take some samples and send it in to Penn State to have them do some tests on it to evaluate the soil. Now, you're supposed to take samples from like 13 places in the garden. So this is place number one. And what I'll do is I'll go here and here and here and here and here and here until I've got 13 places. Well, that's 13 scoops on a hot sunny day and we're going to mix this up get it all mixed together and then take a cup of it and uh, dry it out and send it off to penn state we'll see what they say so about four weeks ago three or four weeks ago we sent some soil samples from the garden to Penn State and they did, a, um, they did a soil test for us. And they tested things like potash and potassium and calcium. They did not test nitrogen because I, my understanding is that that, will, that can change by the hour in a garden. Um, but this is what the soil looked like. Some of the soil looked like where the garden is now. And this was pretty typical, a lot of, a lot of clay in there and um, pretty, pretty hard, pretty hard indeed. And we'll get that back down so it's not to disrupt the mower. And uh, so the test results came back two weeks ago or last week, I guess. And they, in the test results, there are three categories. There's a category that, that says deficit and then sufficient for the plant's needs and then an abundance of, or more than what the plant needs. And there were six nutrients that were tested and two of the six were in the sufficient for what the plant needs, meets the plant's needs, and they were more than halfway through that, that uh, section. And then the other four were off into the, an abundance of what the plant needs or more than what the plant needs. And actually, calcium just went off the page. Now, if I remember, I looked up calcium, what's common for calcium and, uh, in soil, and it's like 440 pounds per acre. And our calcium measurement was over 10,000 pounds per acre. But the exciting thing was this, that the, uh, the um, uh, percentage of organic matter, which, you know, this is, the garden is all organic matter. So I would have thought it would have been close to 100%. I, I don't know about that very much but our organic matter was 38.8 percent now to give you something to uh, compare that to apparently most garden and crop fields are about four to six percent organic matter there is a, a fellow who's a very well-known gardener who had uh, about half of that uh, half of the 38 percent and uh, was astounded that this could even be possible.
38.8% organic matter. Now my understanding is that, that that is organic matter that's accessible, that is able, the plant is able to use. So, you know, I think all in all, what we have is very healthy, very fertile soil, and uh, it works. So here we go. 2009, we laid down a garden. We laid down wood chips. 2010, we grew in this garden. We've been growing ever since. We've put wood chips on when needed. Now we have about eight to 12 inches of deep, dark, black gold soil. It smells rich, it is rich, and proven by Penn State analysis that it's very nutrient rich. So it works. Good luck. Yeah. That's beautiful, look at that. And that's a, that's a shovel depth right there. So, you know, I got eight to 10 inches here of this black soil. Wow, that's beautiful.